Hello folks, welcome back. In this section, I am going to show you how we can deploy any EC2 container by using DevOps pipeline. For this purpose, we should have a developed code in the GitHub repository. Then our Jenkins can able to pull that code and build and uh, our Jenkins also used as a deployment tool, it deploys on a target environment. In this section, we are going to see an EC2 instance which is running with Tomcat as our target environment. So, as we discussed in the earlier section, our code is available in our Voyankil's account, a repository called Hello World. I will just show you that. This is our Voyankil account. Here we have a Hello World repository as well as simple DevOps project repository. Hello World is a Java based web application. Go inside. We can see a yes, server, web app, docker file, pom.xml, readme file. These are the contents of our Hello World repository. But I am not much interested about this code because the purpose of this training is how we can take this code and build. Writing this code is developer's work. We are going to use this code to build and deploy. Again, come back to our flow. Now, we don't have Jenkins server yet and also we don't have Tomcat server. We are going to set it up this to test this deployment. With that, let's go and install Jenkins. Jenkins installation procedure also updated in our repository. We have documents repository called simple devops project in the same account. So simple devops project go inside to this. You can find a folder called Jenkins. Under Jenkins we have a file called Jenkins installation. It has all the instructions how to install Jenkins. I will quickly run through it so that we know what steps we should follow. Initially we need an EC2 instance. We haven't created it yet and a security group which opens port number 8080 because Jenkins runs on port number 8080. Then install Java because this is the prerequisites. After Java installation, we need to set up home path of our Java. I will show you how to do that one. Once it is done, we can install Jenkins. Jenkins packages we can download from this URL. Even we can Google it to get this URL but just for reference I have given here once Jenkins has been installed successfully we can start Jenkins service and accessing it from the browser because this port we are going to open at security group level once it is accessible we should log in and change the password of admin why because it comes with the default password once log into Jenkins console, we should set up the JDK path as well. Nothing but where exactly Java has been installed on our Jenkins server. Then for testing purpose, we can run a my first job just to see that uh, Jenkins is functioning fine. With that, let's jump into our AWS console and uh, create an EC2 instance. Services, select EC2 instance. We can launch an instance. In this program, I am going to use Amazon Linux for most of our DevOps tools installation because it is pretty easy to manage. And I would recommend you to use the same operating system so that you don't encounter with any new issues while following our videos. Hence, I am selecting Amazon Linux. It is a T2 micro. I am not changing anything over here disk size is fine name i'm giving it as a jenkins server jenkins server security group i'm going to create a new security group security group name i will give devops underscore project security group i'm going to add one more rule because Jenkins runs on port number 8080. We must open port number 8080. And description also I am going to give the same. Launch it. Now we should choose a key pair. I have an existing key pair called a DevOps project. If you don't have one, you can create a key pair and download that key pair to log into our server. So choose the existing key pair in our case. 
and launch it because I have this key pair. It takes couple of minutes to get it launched. We'll wait until it comes up. Let me refresh the screen. All right, server is running state. Let me take the public IP of this server. I'm using tool called mobile XTERM to log into our server. We can also use putty to connect to our servers, but I would recommend you to use mobile XTERM because you don't need to convert your key pair from PEM to PPK if you want to connect. I can use my PEM key directly to connect to our servers. I have chosen session, then SSH, provide the remote host IP address and uh, use private key. This is devopsproject.pem. I am using a pem key and user ec2 minus user. Alright, I have connected to my server. I am increasing font size. Let's become a root because we are doing installations. We must have root privileges. As I discussed, first we need to install Java. Before installing Java, we will check the Java version because Amazon Linux by default comes with Java version 1.7. I would recommend you to remove the 1.7 and use 1.8. To remove 1.7 version from the server, you can use m remove java minus 1.7.0 star because after this whatever is there you can remove it okay i have removed if i check for java version now nothing is there let's install java 1.8 clear the screen m install java minus 1.8 star it installs java 1.8 on our jenkins server yes to install Now installation is completed. After Java installation, we need to set home path of our Java. For that, we should find where our JRE exists. We have this command in our document. We can just search for Java 1.8 star by using find command. It gives where our JVM or JAR file available. This is the actual path of our JRE. We can see that by using ls minus l slash jre, you can see it is available under this path. I am giving control C. We need to set this one as our path. Let's set the home path. Let's clear the screen. So to set home path under our home directory, we can use cd tilde. So we are going to home directory of our user and nothing but root user. Now vi dot bash underscore profile. Under this, we should provide our Java home path. So I will give here Java underscore home is equal to our JRE path. And also, we need to add it to path Java underscore home. Save this file. That's it. We have set up our Java home path. Now echo go dollar Java underscore home. If I give, it doesn't show you the full path. Why? Because we need to log off and log in to get it effect. So let's log off. Again, I will log in as a root. Now let me execute the same command. Now you can see the latest path. This is how you can set up home path. Now let's install Jenkins. If you try to install m install Jenkins directly, it doesn't work because it doesn't have the repositories to pull the code. For that purpose, let's jump into browser, search for Jenkins download. First link itself tells about jenkins.io slash download. This is the official website where we can download Jenkins. We have long term support version and weekly release. It is always best practice to use long term support version because it is tested one. 
and if we scroll down we have a red hat fedora sent wires amazon linux supports for this one so click over here and uh, you can see the instructions what you need to do this to use this repository run the following commands we must run these commands to set up uh, jenkins repository in our server so i am running this command first next go back take the command to add key i'm adding key as well once it is done let me execute the jenkins install command once again yum install jenkins all right now we can able to find the jenkins software and we are installing it may take a while all right jenkins installation is successful now let's see the jenkins service service jenkins status it is in stopped state let me start it i have started jenkins again see the status it's working now we'll try to access our jenkins application from the browser for that take the public ip of our jenkins server go to browser and jenkins runs on port number 8080 access for the website so it is getting ready we need to wait for a while here you go so it's asking us to provide the password to login by default you can find a password in this location let's go back and cat this file you can see the auto generated password go back provide this password continue whenever you initially log into your jenkins server after setup it suggests to install few plugins but we are not installing any plugins right now we install later point of time depends upon the necessity for time being i am skipping this step now our jenkins is ready start using jenkins all right this is our fresh jenkins console i have just logged in as i discussed we need to change our password to change our password nothing but admin password we need to go to user called admin here we have configure and uh, here we have a option called password i am changing my password re-entering the same apply save i have successfully changed my password that's why i got logged off let me browse the website again and re-login admin and my password okay now i have changed my default password next thing is we need to set up our java home path for that there is a option called manage jenkins we should go here to manage our jenkins most of the time let's go inside to manage jenkins there is a option called jenkins tool configuration this is the option we should choose to configure our configure our jdk so far we haven't added anything so add jdk i will give java underscore home and java home path let me grab it from here echo dollar java underscore home this is our java home path go back again and if you give any typo it immediately says that it is not right path so okay it looks good right now apply save it okay with that i can say that our initial setup of jenkins is done in next video we will run our first jenkins job until then bye see you there